show it's amazing to be in the kitchen and to give you such ideas and tips and recipe anyway today is just a quick idea and all you can wash your meat at home special chicken which is dangerous and also to remove the skin and the fat and also clean up your meat and wash it off so guys it's just a tips and idea where you can do at home and you know I mean as I said before the skin for the chicken that's good for your health is that this fat that go inside of your sweet like cooking oil um, anyway so today is just the idea of the tips and the chicken and hopefully guys can follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and also Google plus 50% on the book at the moment and remember snapshot me chef Ricardo 9 you can see more ideas and stuff on it follow me on the social network guys I'm there everyone so thank you so much and hopefully you just enjoy the recipe enjoy the tips and the ideas of the video them on the youtube see you next time bye bye everyone we'll come back in the kitchen with chef for a cooking show today we're gonna show you how to clean your meat and wash it off into some water um i've been getting the request over the last couple of days um chef for all you do your chicken at home or your marinate you know you clean it and bits and pieces um you know what I mean? Most people say, you know, there's no need for you to wash chicken. But you know what I mean? I bought in Jamaica and I bought because my grandmother, my mom, my dad, everyone washing meat. So that's sticking my brain for life. But anyway, I'm just going to give you some tips and idea of how you can wash it at home. Um, first of all, make sure you got gloves. This is very important because chicken is one of the most dangerous meat you could ever think of. Very, very dangerous thing to deal with. Make sure your surface is clear. Don't have anything on the counter. If you're even gonna wash it into your sink, make sure your plate pack away. Everything is clear when you're gonna clean your meat. First thing is gloves and your surface clear. All right. Second thing, you could either use this brand vinegar, mild vinegar, mild vinegar, whatever vinegar you like to use. This brown one, you can use it to wash your meat. Or some lemon. Is very good so first of all you can squeeze the lemon in the water like this put a few slices in the water also if you want to put a little bit of the vinegar that's fine kill the bacterial probably about a teaspoon this is the way when you go to shop and you buy your chicken this is one of the way or you can get rid of the skin all right if you notice your skin on the chicken all right if you go to the local butcher shop you don't need to remove the skin they will do it for you so best way is to get a clean piece of a kitchen towel go on the chicken and pour it off like this all right that's the best way how to clean your meat get rid of some of the fat as you can see one just clean it up with the cloth all right so that's the best way all you can clean your chicken then you put it straight inside of the water which you're gonna wash your chicken in and leave it in the water so we go in the meantime we're gonna just go continue with all of this meat just like this so do not put it in the water first and then you're gonna clean it off because the wolf the whole place going to be messed up all right so as i can see this is one of the best way you could ever remove some of the fat even off the chicken. As you can see, get it clean up and nice. All right, look at that. Beautiful and really nice. As you can see, then put it straight inside of the water. Very important, guys, the way you angle your meat at home, the way you angle stuff at home. A lot of people just angle things because, oh, I don't care. Not, I've been doing it for years. It's not gonna affect you now, but in the future, that's where it's gonna be affecting you. So as you notice, how I'm doing my, my, my meat. Now when I go to the local butcher man, I would ask him to remove the skin from the meat. But as I can see, the way I'm doing the chicken, remove, wipe off all the bone and then bits and pieces, and put it straight inside of the water. Very easy, guys. It's nothing too complicated where you can do this at home. You know what I mean? Just a tips and idea, just to remind us some people doesn't wash the chicken but they probably born come see their mom or their dad doing that so then they don't wash chicken but um 
when I'm in Jamaica, I wash my meat and I bang come see my parents them doing it. So I'm still doing it the same way. And if you notice, you can remove some of the fat, use a cloth and just clean out the inside of the meat. As you can see. So when you put it in the water, it's going to be fresh and nice. As you can see, it doesn't even take long. It's just a quick update and a reminder because the fans was asking me how oh, I do my meat at home or you wash your chicken and all these things. So basically I say I will just do the video because I'm a man who's angling meat every day. Nice one, as you can see, that's the way you're supposed to make your meat look really nice. All this part you can simple, just wipe it off around. Just spend some time, you know what I mean? If it, especially if you're not on a rush. You can do that at home guys and then I have another one as you can see it doesn't take long to do your chicken all right same thing with the leg when you buy when you go to the, the meat the, to the butcher you don't need to do this but Sometimes you don't want to go to the, the meat shop you want to buy in a big supermarket and then you just bring it home and the reason why I remove the skin from the chicken because that's bare fat when that goes inside of you, it's sleep put that in the water just like that and now so we're going to put this same thing, we're just cleaning them up guys but just so you, that's the best way you could ever clean your meat at home and if you notice, there's no way it's not wetting up and messing up this one all these parts are kind of simple just wipe around these bits yeah nice just put it in the water like that so me, me, mo, most time when I'm doing my meat like this I marinate it and just put it in the fridge that can last up to a month in the fridge in the freezer sorry in the freezer as you can see Get rid of some of the fat. Nice one. Look at that. Beautiful guys. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna just leave that in the water for a nice good 15 minutes. And as I say, chicken is one of the most deadliest meat you could ever think of. A lot of bacterial and germs will come around the counter so you have to know how you're angling your meat lovely and it doesn't take long not even 15 minutes take out some, some of the fat lovely and nice look at that beautiful so that's finished all of these take out the meat and you can put that in your meat bag for the bin man chuck these in the bin make sure you clean up your surface um, then the next best way how you can clean your surface is this way to use the lemon or the vinegar and this is the best thing you could ever want to use to clean your surface you can't use cloth to wipe back your surface that does, it does bear germs and bacteria the same way so basically it's in the water as you can see let's put a little bit more vinegar in the water Allow that for 15 minutes. Nice and lovely. So basically guys, can I see it show you something? Look how your chicken look. If you notice all of those germs and bacterial come off of the meat. And the chicken feel totally different. So that's the best way you can wash your meat at home and as you can see all the chicken just clean and nice and that's exactly what 
what you're looking for. So if you buy your meat at the, the meat shop or the butcher shop or wherever you want to buy your meat and you bring it home, well, that's the best thing you want to do to your meat. Mm, really nice. So as you can see, this is it right here. Looking so lovely, fresh and nice. So that's the best way you can wash your chicken at home and look after your meat before you cook it. Get it clean up, remove the fat, remove the skin, and be healthy. 2017 is coming up, that's one of the main things we're going to be preaching. How to look after your meat at home. Thank you so much, and this is some Chef Ricardo on the team. We will come out with more recipes, more ideas in the future, and more tips. Thank you so much. See you next time.